Kill Tony podcast host Tony Hinchcliffe is facing a lot of backlash for some pretty crude jokes he made during his opener at the blockbuster Trump rally in Madison Square Garden over the weekend. So during his speech, which was peppered with all sorts of off-color jokes, Hinchcliffe at one point latched on to immigration and made some jokes about Latinos producing too much babies, as he was suggesting. And at another point in his speech, he called Puerto Rico a floating island of garbage in the ocean. And that remark in particular drew a lot of backlash. There was a lot of bipartisan backlash against some of these really off-colored jokes, including from Senator Rick Scott, who's in a competitive contest in Florida, from Peter Navarro, a former Trump administration official who's really close with the former president, the Republican Party chairman in Puerto Rico, there were, and the Trump campaign as well, have all kind of come out and condemned what Hinchcliffe said. There are a number of Democrats that also jumped on this as well, including Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Tim Walz, you know, the Democrats' VP nominee, and a bunch of others. Then Hinchcliffe came out later and said that he was merely attempting to make some jokes there that he is interested in visiting Puerto Rico and has nothing against Latinos. And he was saying that people were taking this too seriously. We should note that there was laughter in the audience when Hinchcliffe made some of these jokes, but it also kind of appeared that there were some hesitations about what he was saying. Some people seemed to think it was maybe going a little bit too far. And this controversy is kind of interesting because What Trump was trying to do with this big rally in Madison Square Garden was to show to voters in, you know, traditionally Democratic strongholds that he cares about them and is interested in trying to win over their vote. I think he was also trying to generate a lot of favorable headlines um, during the election homestretch, because normally during this stretch of time, when you're so close to the presidential election, The campaigns are usually focusing really hard on the battleground states that are really going to determine the winner. And they're not really worrying about other states that are very much likely to go to the other side. Um, Kamala Harris had done a similar visit in a red state of uh, Texas last week, just before Trump's rally. But these different speakers, such as Hinchcliffe, and there was another speaker, a childhood friend of Trump who called Harris the devil and suggested that she was an antichrist during his speech, these different speakers that were generating this type of controversy kind of fed a little bit of fodder to Democrats and maybe dampered Republicans' ability to be a little bit more competitive in New York. And particularly, like, for down-ballot race, they're trying to, you know, gin up some significant turnout to help them down-ballot. So these controversies kind of loomed a little bit over Trump's big rally in Madison Square Garden, which, you know, was somewhat of a blockbuster event. I mean, the venue sold out. There were thousands of people that tried to get in that weren't able to. So this type of controversy is kind of a bit of a blemish on the big rally in Madison Square Garden.